Hey Feasters, and welcome to episode 115, and we've got an awesome show for you today. I'm actually going to share with you the three steps that you can do so that you can go on vacation. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Welcome to the Ask Rez podcast. I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. Today's question, well, today's answer is actually going to be pretty simple. It's not going to be easy to do, but how do you step away and actually take and enjoy a vacation? Like I said, it's a pretty simple answer, but it's not easy to do because taking vacations and being able to step away from the freelance business for a day or a week can be quite scary. Now, I could be off, but from about 2004 to 2011, I didn't take any days off unless I was sick or something unexpected happened that I had no control over. There was no vacation, there was no hotel plans, there was no cruises or car rentals, nothing that resembled any sort of pleasurable trip because I wanted to get away. It's insane, right? I mean, well, I'm sure that you're just like me and you've gone a long time, maybe even years at some point where you didn't get a break. So why is that? Well, for me, it was hard because I had been working full time in a cube and on my own during those years. I told myself that there wasn't any time to get away. I told myself that I'll look into taking a vacation next year. I scared myself in that if I went away, I would come back to no business at all. Well, in 2011, all that changed. My then girlfriend, now wife said, we're going on a cruise (laughs) when she told me this. I guess my face didn't immediately light up with joy, but lit up with a sense of worry, (laughs) maybe, because she followed it up with, it doesn't matter what you say, you have to do. Figure it out because we both deserve to get away. And she was 100% right. She's right for you too. You do deserve to get away and enjoy life, right? We didn't start our own business because we wanted to work more. Now that said, How do you step away? Communication and planning. Communicate with your clients as early as possible. The earlier on, the better. Timeline, sales, delivery, they may all need to be figured out and adjusted accordingly. And the more time that you have to plan that stuff out, the better. Look, your clients want you at your best. Surely they understand taking vacations is something everyone has a right to do. They take them. When you tell them ahead of time so that they can plan ahead and make sure that everything is covered, you're going to get responses like, awesome, where are you going? And enjoy. The next step is to not jam two weeks of work into one. And what I mean by this is if you're taking off a week, don't work yourself to the bone the week prior to going away. If you do that, you're not going to give your brain a chance to wind down. It'll actually be two or three days into your vacation before your brain stops doing all the behind the scenes thinking around all of the work that you just did. To do this, give yourself a buffer before going away. Sort of play a game with your head a little bit. If you're going away on the 14th for a week, let's say, then plan all you need to do around the work before the vacation and tell yourself that you're actually going away on the 7th, giving you a full week buffer prior to vacation. Then from the 7th to the 14th, you do the everyday tasks that you normally would. Just pretend like it's a normal week. The last thing you wanna do before for going away is plan for the unexpected. In other words, should something happen with a client or the business that's a complete emergency, put in place a process by which, let's say a client can get help in the way that they need. If you have a help desk system, have a process by which your client could put in a specific subject line into an email 
that then gets forward to someone who can handle the request if you're not available. For me, I have a friend that I've entrusted with my business and my clients should something happen while I'm away. That's for me, that's because I'm a one man show. And I explain to my clients this process. For you, maybe this is a business partner, whoever it is. Make sure that they are aware of what sort of issues you could be filtering their way and make it super simple for them to get access to all the things that they would need to resolve that issue. Now go ahead, take that vacation. Force yourself if you have to, like my wife did to me, because, well, you deserve it. If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me, by leaving me a tweet, at Rez on Twitter, or going to askrez.com and find that chat bubble in the bottom right corner and click on it and initiate a chat with me. Yes, I am the person on the other side. So until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.